All right, let's talk about the major scale today as well as some intervals. You're gonna hear them talk a lot about half steps and whole steps. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the basic building blocks of music. That asterisk is very important because we're going to be talking about the building blocks of Western music. No, not that kind of Western. In music theory terms, Western music can be broadly defined as music that was developed in Western Europe. There are many other equally important music systems that were developed outside of Western Europe, like Korea, India, Russia, China, and Japan, plus many others that we can talk about in another video. But today, I want to talk about this, the basic building block of Western music, the half step. On a keyboard, a half step is the distance between any adjacent keys. For example, if we start on F natural and go up a half step, we land on F sharp. If we start on A flat and go down a half step, we land on G natural. You can also combine two half steps to make a whole step. On our keyboard, the whole step is the distance of two half steps. If we start on F sharp and go up two half steps, we land on G sharp. That's the same as going up one whole step. If we start on C natural and go down one whole step, we land on B flat. Now let's use the half step and the whole step to build three of the most common scales in Western music, major, minor, and chromatic. Let's start with chromatic. Every note in the chromatic scale is one half step apart. So if we start on B flat and move up the keyboard by half steps, we have the chromatic scale. Interesting note about the chromatic scale, when it's notated on sheet music, it is written with sharps going up and flats coming down. Let's move on to the major scale. The major scale is made up of whole steps and half steps in a particular order. That order is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So if we start on B flat and go up a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, we have the B flat major scale. The great thing about this is that you can play any major scale using this pattern. Just find your starting note and use the pattern to fill in the rest of the notes. Next, let's... Okay, so we'll stop there for a moment. I want to then discuss intervals. So let me take you to um, some of our songs that we sing. First being Chocolate Cookie, okay? This is, uh, you can find this on Schoology, but I'm sure you remember it. The original song is... Sarah Sponda, Sarah Sponda, Sarah Sponda, red set set. But we changed the lyrics to chocolate cookie. Now, this is very helpful for training your ear to hear the interval of a third. Okay, so here you see middle C on the first part of chocolate, moving to E. Remember, every good boy deserves fudge. That first line note is the E. So we go from C, skipping D, to E, that is three, meaning a third. Now, if you go from chocolate, the second half of that word, to first part of cookie, you're going to a G. So we go E, skipping F, to G. Again, a third. So think do, mi, so. And there you have two different kinds of thirds. Very important. Do, mi, so, mi, do. If you practice that in your head, every time you see a note that is a third away, you can find it without anybody giving you the note on the piano. If I sing do, you can find me by singing the song chocolate. Okay, so let's go to now a Christmas song to find a fourth, a big fan of Oh Christmas Tree. It's a little bit hard to read because the, the music starts with a pickup note. You see there at the very edge of the right hand of your screen, O. Now that's a D. It's right below E and right above middle C. So the two notes we were just looking at, D, D, E, F, G, O, Christmas tree, is a fourth, okay? You could also do um, on the first day of Chris. So like, again, another Christmas song, the 12 days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love. That, those first 
that first interval from, I think it says C is what they usually use. There it is right there. C, 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 F, 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 C, D, E, F. So whenever you hear um, or you're asked to sing a perfect fourth, you can think, oh, Christmas tree on the first day of Christmas or here comes a bride. <laughs> All right, um, another one we need to know is a fifth. So now we're going up five steps. Let's go back to our um, starts here. This is the song, bim, bim, bum. Sorry, that's a perfect fourth. Bim, bum, bim, bum. All right, uh, another way to remember a fifth is just twinkle, twinkle, little star, or A, B, C, D. So that's five steps up. There's D on the bim, and then it moves to A, which is bum, bim, bum, and then it does it again, actually. So in this song, you have two fifths right in a row. If you have a D, E, F, G, a, so going up to A from D is five. That's a fifth. Bim, bum, bim, bum, bitty, bitty, bum. Now let's go up a sixth. Here we have my bunny lies over the ocean. So there's that A, just like in the last song, but we don't start on D, we start on C. That's middle C, my going to A. So count with me, C, D, E, F, G, a. So now we have six steps. My bunny lies over the ocean. Okay, it's a six. Let's um, skip sevenths. It's just not, it's hard. <laughs> okay, so if we go now to the game, this is how your quiz is going to go in January. You won't be taking this until January. All the class time is going to be spent practicing how to ace this quiz. But we're gonna pick do, mi, so, mi, do. This one says so, mi, do, level three. All right. Now, what I do is press this keyboard button. Okay. You first have to decide if it's one, two, or three. Red, green, or purple. And then you'll hear me go, do, mi, so, so, so. Okay, so I'm doing exactly what the keyboard says. But now I'm singing it with solfa. Do, mi, so, so, so. And I need you to tell me what the note name is for do. All right, so as you hear me do it, do, mi, so, so, so. You're trying to remember where that do was. Okay, so right in this case, it's the first note. And the answer is middle C. So if you don't know that number three is the answer and middle C, that first note, is what you would put for do. Let's do another. And again. So, me, do, me, so. Now this one's trickier because do is not the first note. It's not even the second note. The answer here is purple and you look to the third note, the first half of that eighth note pair, that's do. And the note name is F. This is the key of F when you see that little B flat. So the do is going to be F, it's the anchor, it's the starting pitch, it's, it's one. All right, so answer is three, F, and one more. Do, mi, so, so, so. Do, mi, so, so, so. So here you have do at the beginning again. And if you didn't catch where I said do, you can also look at the key signature. The key signature is where you see a sharp or a number sign, like you see that we call it a sharp in music or the flat, the little B that was in that last slide. This is the key of G and that means G is do. So here we go, we have G. Now if we were in minor, it had like a more Halloween-y sound, 
the rules change a bit um, as far as remembering where dough is, but don't worry about that. Your job is to answer whether it's one, two, or three. So in this case, number two, grain, and what the note name is for dough. Now, if you forget, I'm like, oh man, I see it's on that second line, but I don't remember the note name. Remember, every good boy deserves fudge. So the first line would be E, the second line is G, B, so there's B, and then you skip to D, and the final line would be F. I hope this helps. Um, we're gonna stop the share and do one last thing. Here's do, re, do, that's a second. Do, me, chocolate cookie. So do, me, that's a third. Oh, Christmas tree on the first day of, that's a fourth. So do, fa, is a fourth. Do, so, Bim, bum, bim, bum, or twinkle, twinkle, A, B, C, D, that's a fit. My body lies over the earth, so that's a sixth. Do, la, and do, T is a seventh. It's very crunchy. Do, T, do, do, going from do to do, or like say this is middle C, going to the treble C is an octave. You would think we'd call it an eighth, but it's an octave, it's a perfect octave. A perfect unison is do to do, and the perfect octave is do to do, higher, or do to do, lower. All right, I hope this helped. You guys can do it.